Welcome back, manifestors. Or should I say, soon to be identity shifters. You're tuned in to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel, where we take all things manifesting, sprinkle in a little humor, and serve it up with a side of pop culture. Today, we're diving headfirst into the identity shift technique, because let's be real, who doesn't want to become the version of themselves that's living their best life? Now, if you caught our last video, you've already had a taste of what this technique is about. But today, we're going all in, like Netflix on a Friday night, or that one friend who always takes karaoke a little too seriously. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and get ready for a ride that's part deep dive, part comedy show, and 100% life-changing. Before we jump in, let's talk business. Only 2% of you have notifications turned on, which means the rest of you are out here manifesting in the dark. Come on, hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the magic we're dropping. We're on a mission to impact 11 million lives by the end of 2024, and we need you to be part of that journey. Oh, and heads up, our exclusive consultations are filling up faster than Taylor Swift tickets, so if you want in, hit that link in the description. What is the identity shift technique? All right, let's break it down. The identity shift technique is like a makeover for your subconscious mind. Forget changing your hair color or updating your wardrobe. This is about transforming who you believe you are at the deepest level. Imagine if your identity was a Netflix show. This technique is your chance to rewrite the script, recast the lead, and maybe even add a killer theme song. So, what's the big deal about this technique? Well, your identity, how you see yourself, is the foundation of everything you manifest in your life. If you're stuck in the identity of, I'm always broke, guess what? You're gonna keep manifesting empty bank accounts like it's a glitch in the matrix. But when you shift to, I'm a money magnet, you start attracting cash faster than Starbucks releases new drinks. And here's the crazy thing. This isn't just about wishful thinking. It's about reprogramming your subconscious mind to believe you're already that wealthy, successful, loved up version of yourself. It's like downloading the latest iOS update. Suddenly, everything runs smoother, faster, and without the bugs. The science behind identity shifting now. Let's get a little nerdy for a second. Don't worry, I'll keep it fun. So, you know how your phone has all these apps running in the background, even when you're not using them? Your brain is kinda like that. It's got all these subconscious programs running 24-7, influencing everything you do, from how you brush your teeth to how you respond when someone asks, what do you do for a living? These subconscious programs are built on your identity, who you think you are. And here's where the identity shift technique comes in. By shifting your identity, you're basically updating your brain's operating system. Scientists call this neuroplasticity, but I like to call it, making your brain do squats. You're strengthening new neural pathways, so your brain gets used to thinking, feeling, and acting like the new, upgraded you. It's like switching from Windows 95 to the latest MacBook Pro. Sure, the old system still works, but why would you want to stick with floppy disks when you could have lightning-fast Wi-Fi and Face ID? When you shift your identity, you're upgrading your life in every possible way. How to identify your current identity before you can shift your identity, you've gotta know where you're starting from. It's like trying to navigate with Google Maps, you need to know your current location before you can figure out how to get to your destination. So, let's take a quick inventory of your current identity. Grab a notebook, because we're about to get introspective. Ask yourself, what are the stories I keep telling myself? Are you the person who always says, I'm just not good with money? Or maybe you're the one who's always in the friend zone. Whatever it is, write it down. This is your current identity, and it's been shaping your reality like a poorly written sitcom. Now, don't get all bummed out, this is just data. And like any good hacker, we're about to rewrite the code. Once you've got a list of these limiting identities, you're ready to start shifting. Think of this as the montage scene in every superhero movie. Things might look rough now, but you're about to level up in a big way. Creating your new identity okay, now comes the fun part creating your new identity. This is like building your avatar in a video game, but instead of choosing superpowers and cool outfits, you're picking the qualities and beliefs that are going to transform your life. Start by asking yourself, who do I need to become to have the life I want? 
Be specific. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, what does that version of you believe about money, success, and hard work? If you want to attract love, what does that version of you believe about relationships and self-worth? Write it all down. This is your new script. And don't be afraid to go big. This is your chance to create a version of yourself that's living the life of your dreams. If you need some inspiration, think of it like casting yourself in your own personal, stranger things. You're the star, the plot twist, and the happy ending all rolled into one. Once you've got your new identity mapped out, it's time to start embodying it. But here's the trick. You don't have to do it all at once. Start small. Maybe today you practice being confident, and tomorrow you focus on financial abundance. Like any good TikTok challenge, it's all about consistency. Embodying your new identity daily now, let's talk about how to make this new identity stick. Because we all know it's one thing to set a New Year's resolution and another to actually follow through, right? The key is to embody your new identity daily. And I'm not talking about once in a while when you're feeling good. I mean every single day, even when you'd rather binge watch Netflix and eat pizza. Here's how you do it. Start your day with a quick identity check-in. Look yourself in the mirror and remind yourself of who you're becoming. Say it out loud, with feeling. This isn't the time to be shy. Channel your inner Beyonce if you have to. I am a confident, successful, insert your goal here, and nothing's gonna stop me. As you go through your day, act as if you're already that person. If you're shifting into the identity of someone who's fit and healthy, make choices that reflect that. Walk past the donuts at work like you're in an episode of The Office because you're too busy being awesome to care. If you're embodying the identity of a successful entrepreneur, take that call, send that email, and act like the boss you are. And here's a pro tip. Use what I call identity anchors. These are little reminders that keep you on track throughout the day. It could be a bracelet, a wallpaper on your phone, or even a sticky note on your fridge. Every time you see it, Take a deep breath and step back into your new identity. Trust me, it's like having a cheat code for life. Dealing with doubts and setbacks alright, let's get real for a second. Shifting your identity isn't always a smooth ride. There are going to be doubts, setbacks, and moments when you feel like you're stuck in the same old rerun. It's normal, and it's okay. Even superheroes have their off days, just ask Spider-Man. When these moments hit, don't panic. Remember, identity shifting is a process, not an overnight transformation. The key is to be gentle with yourself. If you fall back into old habits or mindsets, don't beat yourself up. Instead, acknowledge it, laugh it off, and get back on track. This is your journey, and every step, even the stumbles, are part of the process. And here's the thing. Your brain is like a stubborn toddler, it doesn't like change. So when you're shifting your identity, expect a little resistance. It's just your brain trying to keep you in your comfort zone. But here's the good news. Every time you push through that resistance, you're rewiring your brain to accept the new you. So, the next time you're feeling like you're stuck in the upside down, remember that setbacks are just plot twists. You're still the hero of your story, and you've got what it takes to keep moving forward. The power of visualization and identity shifting visualization isn't just for athletes and manifesting junkies, it's a crucial part of the identity shift technique. And before you roll your eyes and think, not this again, let me explain why this isn't your average daydreaming session. When you visualize yourself as your new identity, you're doing more than just imagining. You're literally training your brain to accept this new reality. Studies have shown that the brain doesn't distinguish between a vividly imagined experience and a real one. So when you visualize yourself as that confident, successful, loved-up version of you, your brain starts to believe it's already true. Here's how to do it. Find a quiet spot, close your eyes, and take a few deep breaths. Now, see yourself living your new identity. What do you look like? How do you feel? What's your environment like? Make it as detailed and vivid as possible, like you're directing your own blockbuster movie. And don't just see it, feel it. The more emotion you can bring into the visualization, the more powerful it becomes. Do this every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. It's like taking your brain to the gym. Every session makes you stronger. 
Over time, you'll notice that your actions start to align with your new identity without you even thinking about it. It's like when you start watching a new show, and suddenly everything in your life reminds you of it. That's the power of visualization. Integrating the identity shift into your everyday life alright, we've covered the what, why, and how of the identity shift technique. Now let's talk about how to keep this momentum going in your everyday life. Because let's be honest, it's easy to feel pumped up right after a video like this, but what about next Tuesday when you're knee-deep in emails and your dog just ate your lunch? The key is integration, making the identity shift a part of your daily routine so it becomes second nature. Start by setting aside a few minutes each morning for your identity check-in. This can be while you're brushing your teeth, making your coffee, or pretending you didn't just hit snooze three times. Use this time to remind yourself of who you're becoming and how you're going to show up today. Throughout the day, keep those identity anchors handy. These little reminders will help you stay on track, even when life gets hectic. And don't forget to celebrate your wins, big or small. Every time you act in alignment with your new identity, you're reinforcing that shift. So go ahead, give yourself a high five or do a little victory dance. You've earned it. And if you find yourself slipping back into old habits, don't sweat it. Just course correct and keep moving forward. Remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. The more you practice, the more natural it will become. Well, there you have it, folks, the identity shift technique in all its glory. We've laughed, we've learned, and hopefully, we've inspired you to start shifting your identity today. Remember, this isn't just about manifesting some cool stuff. It's about becoming the person you were always meant to be. If this deep dive into the identity shift technique has sparked something in you, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with your friends, your family, even your ex if you're feeling generous. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the content that's going to take your life to the next level. Seriously, we're dropping gems here, people. And hey, if you're ready to take things even further, our exclusive consultations are filling up fast, like, faster than a TikTok trend. So if you want personalized guidance on your manifesting journey, click the link in the description and book your spot today. Until next time, keep shifting, keep thriving, and remember, you're the author of your own story. Make it a bestseller.